What is up? It's Bioware back with another educational video. Like always, don't forget to chuck us a big thumbs up down below, subscribe for more videos, and check out our other videos listed in the description below. Today we are going to look at the muscular system. More specifically, what it is, what are the three types of muscles, and how our muscles move. So let's get into it. Firstly, by looking at what the muscular system is. It is made up of approximately 600 muscles, which help give us our shape. It makes it possible to move. And lastly, the muscles account for half our body weight. Now that we know what the system is, let's look at the three types of muscles that make this system up. We have the smooth, also called involuntary, as we don't have any conscious control over them, and they are found in our internal organs, such as your intestines or liver. Cardiac, this muscle is only found in the heart and is the muscle that pumps blood from the heart around the body. This muscle is not under your control and is continuously working. Skeletal, these are the muscles that enable us to move and are under our conscious control. Pop quiz, I'm going to name parts of the body and you need to work out which type of muscle they are. For example, if I say intestine, I would hope you'd say smooth muscle. So let's get to it. Bicep, liver, heart, kidneys, external muscles. Now let's go through the answers. The bicep is skeletal, as you control when your arm flexes, or extends. The liver is smooth as you don't have any conscious control over it. The heart is cardiac. As we said before, it is the muscle responsible for pumping the blood around the body. Kidneys are smooth for the same reason as the liver. And lastly, the external muscles are skeletal. And these are all the muscles besides your internal organs, which allow you to move. But how do these muscles let you move? The muscles attach to two different bones via tendons. When a muscle contracts, it moves only one of the bones. For example, when your bicep contracts, only your forearm moves and not your shoulder, which is another place the bicep is attached. The muscles in your body work in pairs, meaning that when one muscle flexes, the other extends. If both flex at the same time, nothing would happen. If you look at picture one, the bicep is contracting, or the muscle is shortening, bringing your forearm, forearm up, while the tricep is extending or lengthening the muscle, which is allowing the movement to occur. This can also work in the other way. So muscles are able to do both, both flex or extend. In picture two, instead of the bicep flexing, the tricep is flexing, which straightens your arm. And the bicep is extending to allow the movement to occur. Another example of this is if you look at your quad and your hamstring. When you bend your leg, your hamstring is flexing and your quad is extending. But when you straighten your leg, your quad is flexing and your hamstring is extending. Okay, an overview. So we can see if you've all been listening. What is it? Muscles give us our shape and make it possible to move. There is 600 muscles in our body. Types of muscles. One, we have smooth, which are involuntary, meaning we have no conscious control over them. Two, cardiac, the muscle found in the heart and pumps the blood around the body. Three, skeletal. We have conscious control over this and they allow us to move. How do we move? Muscles attached to bone via tendons. Muscles are able to both flex and extend. And muscles are found in pairs, e.g. the bicep and tricep. So that is all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos linked in the description below. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future and I'll see you next time.